Hello everyone. Today our topic of revision is pathogenesis of gout and the main underlying metabolic condition is hyperuricemia. So first we'll see how uric acid is produced from purine. Purine after sequential changes converts into xanthine and this xanthine with a help of xanthine oxidase first produces hypoxanthine and finally uric acid. Due to any cause if the pathway is exaggerated it will cause excess amount of uric acid in the blood or hyperuricemia the causes of hyperuricemia can be divided into primary and secondary group primary hyperuricemia is mainly idiopathic or genetic while the secondary hyperuricemia is mainly due to some enzyme deficiency like agprt deficiency or glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency due to any cause the excess uric acid in blood will now deposit in the joint space in the form of crystals like monosodium urate crystals will deposit it in the joint space this will ultimately irritate the synoviocytes the cell in the synovial membrane and this will invite the immigration of neutrophils or monocytes they will try to phagocyte the uric acid crystals and ultimately they will release different chemical mediators like neutrophils release lysosomal enzymes reactive oxygen species prostaglandins leukotrienes while monocytes will release interleukin 1 6 tnf alpha like cytokines they will damage the synoviocytes and cartilage apart from this they will also irritate the synoviocyte and making this a vicious cycle due to the damage of synoviocytes and cartilage some protease or other mediators are released which will further irritate the synoviocyte making it a more vicious cycle and ultimately they will cause joint damage this joint damage or gout is characterized by presence of tophus the pathognomonic feature of gout and also there is some joint deformity or soft tissue damage and also there is some kidney damage so this is all about pathogenesis of gout thank you guys for